verses 31 through 39. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give up everything else? Who will bring any charges against God's elect? It's God who justifies, so who is to condemn? It's Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. So who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship, distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword? As it's written, For your sake we're being killed all the day long. We're counted as sheep to be slaughtered. But no, in all these things we're more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Dear friends in Christ, grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, you're going to think I'm really crazy this evening, and that's okay. It's been one of those days. But I have nothing to say. It, me neither. And you might not believe me that I have, that there's just nothing to say, is there? I mean, what, what is there to say? So the theme of tonight is nothing. And I know you think I'm crazy because I texted Tasha this yesterday and she said, uh, okay, <laughs> really? That's what you're going with? Nothing? Uh, well, then I explained where we were going and it made a lot of sense. So I'm going to stop talking because I got nothing to say right now. And we're going to let the skit guys give you a little bit of nothingness too this evening. So let's see what they got to say. Hey, Ed. Hey, Tommy. Ready for the Bible study? Yeah. Did you do the homework for the Bible study? Yes. So, Tommy, look at me. Uh -huh. You answered all the questions for Romans 8, 38, and 39. Yes. Tommy. Mostly. Mostly. Well, the answer to the last question is not in the Bible. The answer to the last question, what can separate you from the love of God? It's in there. It's not in there. Yes, it is. Not in it's there. in there. It's no, in there. It's not. No, it's not. I would not give you questions. It's not in there. No, it's yes, not. No, no it's not. not. Show me, Bible boy. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are your ears open? Because yeah. here it is. Are oh, you yeah. ready? Can Growing. you handle this? Can you handle yes. this? I think I deserve it. I don't think you can handle it. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Get ready. Here it is. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. See, it doesn't say. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It says nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you proved me right. No, you proved me right. Wait, what? Yeah, the something that you're looking for is nothing. Huh? Something is nothing. No, something is something. Something is nothing. No, nothing is nothing. Nothing is something. No, nothing is nothing and something is something. But something can't be nothing and nothing can't be something. But in here, it is and it can. Hmm. So you just want me to go in there and say nothing. Yes. Just be like, nothing. Exactly. <laughs> and the specific nothing mm -hmm. is neither and nor. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yes. Neither nor. Nothing. <laughs> yes. Nothing, neither nor. Nothing, nor, neither, nothing, neither, nothing, nor. <laughs> so I'll just go in there and not say anything. No, I want you to say something. <sighs> then what is that something? Nothing. <laughs> I want to hit you. What? Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Nothing. 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 Yeah, but you don't know my nothing. Doesn't matter what your nothing is. No. No, your nothing is nothing. My nothing is something. I've got a past. Just last night. Doesn't matter what you did last night or what you did five years ago. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. 
nothing. Nothing. So, I mean, what else is there really to say this evening? I think that's an important thing for us to hear because we can find lots of, lots of some things that, you know, can separate us. That's, that's easy. We can find lots of things that will divide us. We can find the sin that separates us. There's all sorts of things that pull us, us, you and I, apart. We have some things, and yet... These some things are nothing. They can't separate us from the love of God. They don't. They may separate us from each other, but not from the love of God. So like I said, I have nothing to say tonight. And the good news is, on your sermon note, wherever you're at, you can write the word nothing. Because that's this is like the one time in your preaching life, really, in which you can say this over and over, that there's nothing to say, and that, that's the one big thing, is nothing. So when you do go home tonight and somebody says, what did you learn at church tonight in worship? You can say, nothing. And it's actually true tonight. Nothing. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. That's something to hear something to hold on to deeply. That's one big something in Christ alone. So thanks be to God for seeing and loving us and knowing that nothing can separate us from him. Amen.